Hey everybody, this is Coach D with TackleTrading.com here to talk to you about the long-term debt-to-capital ratio. The long-term debt-to-capitalization ratio is a slightly different rendition of the traditional debt-to-equity ratio, and it shows the financial leverage of a firm. It's calculated by dividing the long-term debt by total available capital, which again, long-term debt, preferred, and common stock are all factored into this. The long-term debt-to-capitalization ratio is calculated by taking that long-term debt and dividing it by total available capital. The long-term debt-capital uh, ratio functions as an indication of the financial leverage of a firm, and it helps us to identify potential investment risk. A high ratio indicates more risk because debt is the primary source of financing. Here we can take a look at Apple computers and we can see that their financial ratios, we can look at their long-term debt-to-capital ratio, and we see it's hovering around 42, and that's up 11.9%. If you look at the last five years, you can actually see a pretty steady increase of their utilization of debt. And so you could, again, that's neither a good thing or a bad thing. The one thing we know about Apple is that they do have a lot of cash on hand. We also know that they borrowed a lot of money because the interest was low. So again, we can see that they did use debt, long-term debt, uh, to help fund growth. So that's something we can see there. By comparison, here's Microsoft, who, again, looking at the financial ratios, current long-term debt-to-capital ratio is a little bit higher at 47.22, which is up 23.43% year-over-year. And looking at the last five years' worth of data, we can also see a steady increase in, again, long-term debt-to-capital ratios, which would tell me that in this industry, both companies are expanding their debt balance sheet, their long-term debt balance sheet, uh, compared to their uh, total available capital. And again, they're probably using that to fund growth because the interest rates have been very, very low. But we can actually start to see that, again, if they're increasing that ratio, then we understand that the company's accruing more debt. That is a pretty simple disc, uh, description of the, again, long-term debt-to-capital ratio.